Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe if you're new here and today's video is going to be a full coverage Friday video. So happy Friday guys. Today I'm going to be testing out a foundation that has been so incredibly highly requested. It's probably been my most requested foundation to try out since I've started this series. If you are new, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. That way you don't miss out on any more of my full coverage Friday videos where I test out a new foundation every single Friday. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you can leave your recommendations for other foundations down in the comments below and I will be checking that out. However, next Friday I will be trying out the new Anastasia foundation. So you can look forward to me testing out that foundation. If you want to follow me on any other of my social media, Instagram, Snapchat, or Twitter, you can check the description below. And all of the products that I use today will also be listed in the description below. So if you have any questions about that, make sure you check the description box. Um, and yeah, I don't think I have anything else to mention. So if you're ready to see what foundation I'm using, how well it performs, how well it lasts, then just keep watching. All right, so I am back. I have my brows done. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my primer and then I will zoom you guys in when I'm actually applying the foundation. So the primer I'm gonna be using is the No Problem Prime Essence from Touch and Soul. If you aren't new here, you know I love this stuff and this is what I use always to prime my skin. Even off camera, this is the primer that I use. My skin is dry, so I do use a lot of hydrating products and this stuff is really hydrating and it feels really good. So the foundation I'm gonna be trying out today is the highly, highly, highly requested Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I got the shade 5W1. Okay, so to apply the foundation, I am going to be using a brush and a sponge. I'm going to use a sponge on this side, a brush on this side. This is the Morphe Highlight and Contour Sponge and the Morphe M439 brush. So I'm going to start with that and I'm just going to blend this out. So first thought, yeah, the coverage is amazing, which I already knew the coverage was going to be really good. However, I didn't apply enough to cover everything in the first go around. I definitely can still see through it. So I'm going to have to build it up, but probably not too much. The shade is just a hair dark for me. It's not super dark, but it's definitely like a hair to orange. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you what time it is. It's two on the dot right now. Okay, so that's one layer on. I'm not sure if you can tell really well how... Much is covered, but it has covered a whole lot. I didn't put a lot on because I knew it was full coverage. So I didn't want to put like a whole bunch on. I wanted to just put on a light layer and then have to build up if I have to in the areas that I need to. So I am going to build it up back on my cheek right here. All right, so that's two layers on. It looks like it covered everything really nicely. My skin looks so good with this foundation on. And the foundation is still really luminous right now. I don't know if it's supposed to dry down matte, but I feel like it is. Right now it's still really luminous. It looks really healthy and pretty and the coverage is amazing. So, uh, so far I really like it. At least with the sponge I liked it a lot. But I'm going to go ahead and start on the brush side over here to see if I can get a little bit more coverage out of the brush. Alright, so we're going to start with that and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. All right, so that's one layer on with the brush. I definitely got more coverage with the brush for sure. It looks a little bit more blended in over here. It looks a little bit more flawless over here, but it's barely, barely, barely noticeable. But I am going to build it up just a tiny bit like right here and right here. Wow, this looks so good on my skin. Okay, so that's the foundation a little bit built up, um, not all over the skin, just in the areas that I needed, but I think that the finish of it looks so good. So good. I am very impressed. The foundation itself wasn't really super thick or anything. It does have a slight like painty smell to it, but it wasn't super thick. It doesn't look dry, doesn't look cakey, doesn't look heavy, it doesn't look like it's sitting on top of the skin. It looks really, really nice. I really like the finish of this as of right now. I am going to give you guys a close up so you can see what it looks like up close and personal. 
and then I will finish up my makeup and come back and talk to you guys a little bit more about the foundation. So here's a full face view. Here's a sponge side of my face. Here's the brush side of my face. All right guys, so I am back. I am completely done with all of my makeup and I have a few things to mention to you guys. So this is supposed to be a matte foundation. So if you are really dry, I would avoid this at all costs. It is almost too dry for me, but it actually looks really, really good on my skin for a matte foundation. I'm very, very, very surprised because I did end up setting this. I don't think you have to set it. Um, I think that if you are normal to dry, uh, um, the finish of it not being set would, is still really pretty. Um, there is a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of tackiness, but if you don't mind it, then you don't have to set it. But even for it being set, it still looks absolutely beautiful. It doesn't look heavy. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look like it's sitting on top of my skin. I'm very pleasantly surprised with how this looks for my skin to be dry. <clears throat> now I am more normal to dry. I'm not like super duper dry or anything like that. Another thing that I think that helped with the fact that this foundation is matte is I did spray my face with setting spray like four times. I really put on a ton of setting spray. <laughs> Um, and then I just highlighted like my entire face basically because I don't want it to look matte on my skin. But I am obsessed with the finish. The coverage is really nice. The finish is super pretty. And I feel like this is going to be here all day long. I don't feel like I'm. it's going to move like at all. Um, so yeah, if you are super duper 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 dry, this probably won't work for you. But if you are normal to dry where you just kind of have dry spots here and there, or your skin's not like super duper dry. I think if you go in with a lot of hydrating products, like with your primer and your moisturizer, um, I think you can get away with this because I think that it looks pretty freaking good on my skin. Um, if you are oily, you probably would love this foundation. Love it. Um, the finish is so beautiful. We'll see if it can, does a good job controlling my oils throughout the day or controlling my T-zone throughout the day because sometimes I do get oily in my T-zone. Um, so we'll see if it does a good job with that. Also, after I set my foundation with powder and stuff, I think the, the color actually evened out pretty well. I think it looks really good and close to my actual skin tone. Um, so I don't think I would change the foundation color for my skin. I think I would stick with this because after it's set, like it looks really freaking close to my skin tone. But I am gonna give you guys a little bit more information about this foundation really quickly. So this foundation retails for $43. You can buy this foundation at a couple of different places. You can get it at Sephora, you can get it at Ulta, you can get it at like Dillard's, Macy's, Belk's, um, anywhere there's an Estee Lauder counter. This is supposed to be a 24 hour liquid foundation with a flawless natural matte finish. So I definitely agree with that. I think that it is flawless matte. It is pretty buildable with the coverage. Um, I went in with a light layer and then just built up where I had to build up. Um, I think that's what worked best for me and my skin type. I think had I had to build it up all over my face, it could probably get cakey really quickly. This is full coverage and it is a matte foundation and it should be for combination and oily, but honestly, I think you can get away with it if you are normal, normal to dry. And this also comes in 55 shades and is one ounce. So that's the normal size of most foundations. This is a pricier foundation, but Estee Lauder is a pricier brand. So I'm, I mean, I'm not surprised. It's not like the priciest, but it is fairly pricey. I'm gonna give you guys a close up really quickly so you can see what it looks like with all of my powders and the rest of my makeup on, and then I will update you tonight. Here's a full face view. Here's the sponge side. Here is the brush side. All right guys, so I am back and it is 10.59 right now. So it's about to be 11. So I've had this on for nine hours. So I've had it on for a really long time. At least a good amount of time. <laughs> 
Um, and let me tell you, this still looks so incredibly beautiful on my skin. Nothing moved, nothing budged. I feel like for me being dry, it looks better now than it did when I first applied it. It has had time to like sink in, get a little bit luminous from just my natural oils and really just settle into the skin nicely. I do have a crap ton of highlighter everywhere so um, if I look like super dewy that's why but my face is still really really matte. Um, I kind of look like I'm oily right here, but I don't feel any oil. Like, my skin just feels matte. <laughs> but yeah, I think it looks so pretty. So pretty. And literally, my face looks just as flawless as it did when I first put the foundation on. Like, it's crazy. Like, it looks so good. I am obsessed. <laughs> With this foundation, it looks beautiful. Definitely worth the money in my opinion. Um, I think that it looks really, really good. I can't wait to show you the close-up so you can see for yourself how good it actually looks. It didn't settle into my smile lines, which you guys know if you've been watching my more recent um, full coverage Friday videos. A lot of foundations I've been trying lately have been settling into my smile lines. And this didn't settle into my smile lines. Didn't move, it didn't sink into my pores. It just looks airbrushed and so pretty. I am very, very happy with how well this foundation wore. Very happy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a close up really quickly so you could see for yourself what I'm talking about because oh, the finish looks so freaking good right now. Um, and then I will close out the video. So here's a full face view. Here is the sponge side. Here is the brush side. Alright guys, so that is it. Those are my final thoughts. I'm really, really happy I finally got to test out this foundation for you guys because I am so obsessed with how freaking good it looks. It looks beautiful and I am just so happy I tried this foundation. Like, you guys have no idea. I'm really, really happy for this find. Um, but yeah, that is it for the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.